Now, you, you're known for your success in the pizza business. Why did you choose to go into donuts? Uh, just about three or four reasons. One is probably totally selfish. I actually do enjoy, I have a sweet tooth, so I enjoy all sorts of pastries and desserts and all that sort of thing. Um, the second thing is that every time I would go away to see my daughter in school, I would drive across the Krispy Kreme factory and I had to go inside there and get one of their hot fresh donuts or one of their cake donuts. I also have done the rounds to Dunkin' Donuts and Cinnabon and that sort of stuff. So truly, I'm, I'm, I'm a sweet tooth kind of a guy. Uh, thirdly, through a different business, we actually have been making cake and tarts and pies and breads and been selling them to other restaurants and hotels now for quite a number of years. We have a, another bakery where we do that. It's, it's uh, not something that's widely known, but we've been doing it. And fourthly, I was in a conversation with some friends and they were talking about not being very uh, impressed with where they can go to get cake and, and just the options that were available. And we were thinking, you know, we could do something better about that. We can, we can provide something that's a little bit different. And then the only one other thing I probably need to say is that we're actually not a donut shop. We have, I mean, we've opened up. We've only really been focused on the donuts because they've been coming so popular, we want to make sure that we got them right. Mm -hmm. And we actually hired in a, a, a bunch of new staff and we want to make sure that everybody was making the donuts the same way and providing the same experience to the customer. But we're really a pastry and a bakery shop. So we do all things cake and pastry. And we do fantastic donuts. Now, the name is Glaze, I mean, but you've had some really original flavors. Mm -hmm. Do you, or does your staff create them on a rotating basis? What's your most unique flavor? Ah, so we're talking about the donuts. Yes. So with the donuts, we do the same eight or so donuts every day, and then another 10 or 15 that rotate from a menu of 300. So before we even opened up and started, we created a menu of about 300 different donuts. And uh, we do though have a suggestion board, a chalkboard inside the store, and we, we, sh we have our customers tell us what their favorite donut might be, and we actually create those flavors as well. Okay, so what's your, been your most well received at this point? Oh, the original glaze. It's very crispy cream like, mm -hmm. uh, especially when it's hot, people really, really like that. Uh, the red velvet. Um, I would say all the donuts with bacon, those are very popular with us. And uh, I particularly, I have a really, I'm very fond of our sour cream donut. I think it's really, really great. One thing that cannot be ignored is that you're right next door to another popular snack shop as such. Were there any concerns for you that people would have to make the choice? No, uh, we are very complimentary rather than competitors. Um, uh, the Indiana Road has changed quite a bit probably in the last five, ten years. And East Night South were here, very, very busy street. A lot of uh, Bermudians and non Bermudians, the business people on the street walking up and down. Then we hit that recessionary period where we went very, very quiet, and the whole street just changed. Um, it's been a renaissance, probably in the past three, four years, where uh, Nomos came in, and then the ice cream shop next door, your cherry came in, the yoga shop. And they actually have a, a little bit of foot traffic. And of course, we have our own foot traffic. And it's brought a lot of life to the street. So, with the traditional food offerings that are just for the wealth, the dining establishments, and then now with these down here, it's quite the foodie avenue that we actually have doing the food. It's quite different, probably very unique to the entire office. Now, besides the donuts, do you have a really popular product? Oh, we do sell um, our hot food over there. It's, uh, which is a combination of uh, two things right now. It uh, empanadas, which are um, sort of your favorite food in a, in a, in a hot turnover, if I can call it that. It's enclosed in pastry. So we do things like spinach and mushroom, and chicken tikka, and uh, sausage and black olives, and a chicken ginger. We're gonna introduce a ham and cheese, and probably a pepperoni one as well, or a pizza related one. And then we do something called our alphabet pot pies, and those are chicken pies, and curry chicken, and beef, and curry beef, and fish, and mussel, and vegetable pies. We also have other food as well, which we're doing for either catering or special orders. Now, in light of everyone being on this fitness craze, mm. do you find, or have you come up with a fat-free or low-fat pastry or donut? Two answers from that, or answer from two different perspectives. Perspective one is, we've been actually been open for a while, Two and a half months. So in that two and a half months, we want to make sure that we started off with uh, something really delicious 
and that we were all able to do it the exact same way. So our focus is really just that so far. We've had and we pressed for things like gluten free and, and people uh, and, and foods for people with different uh, uh, health needs and we're considering those and have the ability to do them. We've actually thought about them. But because we're so early, we don't want to disrespect uh, what, the, for example, gluten-free requires separation to do it properly. Because of physical separation, you shouldn't have any cross-contamination. This particular space is a bit small for that. Our next one that we're actually planning right now is going to be big enough that we can do some of those things. Um, but back to the other point, we actually are focused right now on having a really good tasting product.